So we find the derivative of this equation dy of dx. Sorry, dy of dx is equal to. So when you differentiate this, you get dy of dx is equal to x. We have said from the definition of a stationary point that a stationary point is a point on a curve at which the gradient of that curve is zero. So if the gradient is zero, and this is the equation that is giving us the gradient, then we equate this equation 2x to zero. When we do that, we will get the value of x as zero. So if x is zero, you get the value of y by substituting x is equal to zero in the original equation, equation for y. So if you substitute x is equal to zero here, what will be your value for y? So y is equal to four. That means this curve, y is equal to x squared plus four, has a stationary point, and the point is zero, four. So these are the coordinates of the stationary point. So the procedure is simple. You are given the curve, differentiate the curve, equate the derivative to zero. From there you get the value of x. Then substitute the value of x in the original equation to get the value for y. When you have the two points, you write them as the coordinates. So this is the, uh, the, the, the turning point for that curve. y is equal to x squared plus 4. You can try this other one. Example 2. I need the coordinate, the full coordinate, 
So I take this value x and substitute in the original equation so that I get a value for y. So when you substitute here, you will get y is equal to 1 cubed minus 3 multiplied by 1 squared plus 3 minus 1. So this gives you 1 minus 3 plus 3 minus 1. And that gives you a 0. So the turning point for this curve is 1, 0. That is the turning point. 1, 0. So this one is giving us 1. There are some instances whereby this will not be 0. So you will get more than 1 point. So for each value of x, you get the corresponding value of y. And you get the several turning points that are going to be there for that particular curve. So that's how you get the stationary point. In our next lesson tomorrow, we will look at the different natures of stationary points. But before then, I am going to post an assignment in our other platform so that you can be able to test this skill and to see how well you understand how to get the stationary point of any curve. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day.